Lion's Mane has been around for a long time and it's been used for a long time and its claim to fame over the centuries was its apparent ability to soothe the membranes of the digestive tract. So traditionally used to combat stomach ailments and digestive issues, Lion's Mane was also considered just a tonic for overall health. Of course, Lion's Mane also has a long tradition of use for brain health, which is what it's most famous for today. Others point to Lion's Mane for bolstering nerve growth and repair, while also helping with memory and focus. So Lion's Mane contains a variety of functional compounds, but two main players stand out. These are aromatic heresinones and diterpenoid arenacines. These are kind of weird names and might be difficult to remember, but just remember that Lion's Mane's scientific name is Heresium arenaceus. So heresinones and arenacines, Heresium arenaceus, I guess Latin isn't that bad, is it? No other food contains this powerful duo, which is why Lion's Mane mushroom is so special. Arenacines can do something particularly unusual and amazing. They can cross the blood-brain barrier. Heresinones may also share this ability, but further studies need to be done. This stealthy superpower is what gives Lion's Mane Mushroom its reputation as a brain booster. Of the various Aranacines that have been identified, Lion's Mane Fruiting Body contains two, namely Aranacine A and Aranacine B. So why is this important? Well, it's important because both of these Aranacines have been shown to promote the synthesis of nerve growth factor. Other aranacines might be found in the mushroom's mycelium, but aranacines don't operate alone. The dual action of aranacines and heresinones together is what most likely fuels this mushroom's brain boosting ability. Four of the 11 heresinones currently known to science also boost nerve growth factor, and all four can be found in the lion's mane fruiting body. Nerve growth factor, otherwise known as NGF, functions exactly as the name would suggest. It maintains nerve cell growth and reproduction, maintains cellular health, and prevents cell death. Neurotrophic factors make it possible for the brain to heal and repair itself after injury, and maintain what is known as plasticity throughout life. In other words, nerve growth factor is one of the reasons why you can teach an old dog new tricks, or in this case, a human. Your brain never stops reacting to information, thought patterns, and outside stimuli. And NGF helps to strengthen or even create new and important pathways in the brain. But there's a weird catch. NGF by itself isn't able to cross the blood-brain barrier. Now, this isn't a problem in healthy individuals whose brains make enough NGF. When the brain begins to age, however, NGF and other nootrophic factors decline. That's where lion's mane comes in. Extracts from the mushroom have the potential to enhance the growth of neurites. These projections grow out of the nerve cells and become either axons or dendrites. These are the parts of the neurons that allow the cells to communicate with each other. More neurite growth means better communication and better overall brain function. There have actually been studies done on lion's mane for cognition with some pretty interesting results. In one double-blind placebo-controlled study, 30 adults with mild cognitive impairment were split into two different groups. One group was given four 250 milligram tablets of lion's mane three times per day, while the other group was given a placebo. It found those supplementing with lion's mane actually performed better on cognitive tests at weeks 8, 12, and 16 of the study. In a 2019 study, participants were given cookies, including lion's mane mushroom, for a period of 12 weeks. The results showed an improvement in cognitive function and prevention of short-term memory deterioration. Now, outside of clinical studies, there are people all over the world that report amazing results from adding this mushroom to their life. Considering what compounds are inside of this mushroom and what these compounds do, it makes total sense that people would experience these effects. If you really want to get the benefits of this mushroom, just eating the freshly harvested cooked mushroom might not be your best bet. That's because the beneficial compounds of the mushroom are actually locked up inside the tough cell walls of the mushroom fruiting body and need to be extracted in order to become bioavailable and for our bodies to be able to actually use and benefit from them. Now this is done through an extraction process which is either hot water extraction, alcohol extraction, or both. Dual extracted lion's mane is the best if you want to get all the benefits.